Toto Moyo Linux demonstration, kickstarting on Ubuntu 10.04. Tomoyo Linux is a security module for Linux systems. This movie demonstrates how to install and set up Tomoyo Linux on Ubuntu 10.04. Tomoyo Linux has two versions. Version 2 is available for Linux 2.6.30 and later kernels. Version 1 is available for various distributions various versions. This movie uses Tomoyo Linux version 1. You can download pre-compiled binary packages for generic BAE flavor from map repository. Before installing kernel package, modify bootloader's configuration file so that you can select kernel zip on boot. Download and install kernel package and tools package. You've finished installation. Initialize policy configuration. Start Tomoyo Linux's policy editor. Since you've just initialized policy configuration, only kernel domain is defined and policy configuration for kernel domain is empty. You can change access control level using profiles. Currently four profiles are defined. Profile 0 is for disabled mode, 1 is for learning mode, 2 is for permissive mode, 3 is for enforcing mode. You can record access requests occurred in the system using learning mode and restrict access requests occurred in the system using enforcing mode. Assign profile 1 to kernel domain so that Tomoyo Linux records access requests occurred in the kernel domain. Quit the policy editor. You've finished all preparations. Now, reboot the system.
Choose the Tomoyo Linux kernel at the bootloader menu. The system is booting like normal Linux. But in the background, Tomoyo Linux's recording access requests occurred in the system. Tomoyo Linux records what programs were executed, what files were read, what files were written, what environment variables were used, what network communications were done, and so on. You've finished rebooting the system. Log into the system. Let's browse what Tomoyo Linux has recorded. Start GNOME Terminal and start the policy editor. All activities from boot till now are recorded as policy configuration by Tomoyo Linux. Thus, policy configuration for kernel domain is no longer empty. You can see that kernel execute a dash bin init and dash bin mod probe. This screen shows domain transition re from s bin init. You can see what s bin init has requested. Go to domain for use for bin gnome terminal. You can see that the policy editor is executed from sato executed from bash executed by gnome terminal. Do something in this terminal. For example, execute bin ls and bin ps and use for bin id. Read at Satrof's tab using bin cat. Refresh the screen on the policy editor. You can find commands you executed are appended. Also, you can find files accessed by these commands. Assign profile 3 to bash and its descendant domain so that Tomoyo Linux restricts access requests occurred in this terminal. Do something in this terminal. You can see that only operations you did with Profile 1 are permitted with Profile 3. By using Tomoyo Linux, you can restrict operations for improving security. For more information, visit Tomoyo Linux Project's website at tomoyo.sourceforge.jp.